It's full throttle. Lights out and away we go here in Assen. Marco Betsek has got a good launch away from pole position, but so too has Pekka Banyai. Banyai's going to sweep to the inside line. Here comes Brad Binder. He's got three Ducatis in the first corner. He takes Marini, he takes Betseki and Banyaya. That is brilliant by Binder. Really poor start for Fabio Quattararo. He's back down in the midfield. Once again, Luca Marini lo losing early ground here. He slipped already behind the Aprilia of Alessio Spargo. There he is on the number 10 bike. Fabio Quattararo's had a horror start as well. He went better that second row four. He's down in 12. And Jorge Martin is behind him. He's 13. So Martin didn't make ground on the first lap either. So Prima Premagicati and Monster Yamaha having a terrible start to this Grand Prix. Oh no, that's Jack Miller's gone down. Miller's lost the front of his KTM in the first corner. And he just looks full of frustration. He gives the aero a proper good kick. So now Red Bull KTM hopes resting firmly on the broad shoulders of Binder, who's coming under big pressure here from Bagnaia. Is Bagnaia going for it? He is. This is, oh, somebody's down further back down the pack as well. I don't know if that may one of his pretty Quattararo, Quattararo, Quattararo. Quattararo. There's going to be no double pogie for him here. They have come together. They have gone down. Fabio Quattararo is hurt here, isn't he? He's already got that zero, that nasty left foot injury, left ankle injury. Through all that drama, Bagnaia then has taken the lead. Binder in second place, Betseki still in third place. He's been there since the first corner of this Grand Prix. Vinales again is the fast man circuit. He now moves on the inside of Marini in the first corner. Vinales up to P5. Yeah, there's been a moment as well for Alessio Spargo as he desperately tries to go with the trio ahead of him. Oh, oh. and that's Maverick Vinales. Vinales, what we just said, he's done successive fastest laps of the Grand Prix. And it all ends in the gravel trap. He drops down, head in hands, Maverick Vinales. How quick did that front end go? Bingo, I need a second bar. That's a third gear edging. This is going to be a fast one, isn't it? He tips it in. <sighs> Maverick Vinales then. Another early casualty. We've already lost Jack Miller. Here comes Jorge Martin on the inside of Luca Marini, who's having another <laughs> real tough job. Marini just got it wrong, didn't he? Pushed a little bit offline going in to the Timur Chicane. Blitzing on through came Martin, Oliveira, Alex Marquez and Ineo Bashi, he? He's now coming on the pressure from Takanaka Garvey. This is what happened then into the final chicane as Martin cut it tight. You can see that moment there for Marini on the way out. He just had no momentum coming out of that good to the chicane. At this stage, he's running in sixth place. He ends up coming through the first corner in ninth. Back with the leaders then, the leading trio of Banyaya, Binder and Betzeki. Sixth gear here, approaching through the 30 clubs now. Ineo Bashi, Nini. He's gone down, so already early on in this Dutch TT, in the hottest conditions of the weekend. Well, it's, well that's a problem, isn't it? He's gone down into the struggle, so it's a pretty slow speed crash for an air Bastianini. Bastianini, the latest victim, Vignales had crashed out on his own while charged towards the podium back in second valve. And then that's what's happened then between the two Frenchmen, Joan Zarco and Fabio Quattararo, at the top of your picture now. Quattararo goes down his own on the outside. Yeah. There's nothing that Zarco can do about it. Quattararo losing the front at high speed. Look at this, he's just going to run over the curves on the inside. The front end touched him underneath him. And that was a big one, that was, wasn't it? We follow the top trio then in this tight first sector. Second gear all the way through here, turn three, four, then back to first gear for this low speed, the only first gear corner around Aston. Something's happened to Alessio Spargo. Now look at his front brake unit protector there, sticking vertically up in the air. Let's try and find out then what happened to Alessio Spargo. He got a real good launch away, didn't he? He's going to come up behind Luca Marini going into this first corner. Marini gets pinched between Binder and Betseki. Oh, and there there's the contact as Alessio Spargo powers the Apulia through the right-hander. We're going to get a good look at this, aren't we? Back from Marco Betseki. We drop further back down the field. The pace starting to pick up here. Magnaia and Binder, they both exchange fastest laps of the race. A 133.097 is now the best from Binder as Oliveira makes a, a real mess of uh, the, the Ramshuk. Turn 15, he runs really wide. And that has made Oliveira drop down to 10th place. Binder, to his credit, is putting in a tremendous ride here once again because Bagnaia is touring everything at him so far and Binder has answers at the moment. Miguel Oliveira retires from the Grand Prix, so perhaps that runoff was due to a problem with the motorcycle rather than a mistake. It's 
six tenths at the start of the lap. He's now up to eight tenths for Pekko Bagnaia. So is he now taking this opportunity to try and bolt clear of Brad Binder? Can Binder respond to that? We know he responded a few laps ago when Bagnaia put in that fastest lap of the Grand Prix, but that mistake has just opened up a bit of breathing space for the reigning world champion. So Binder needs to respond quickly. This is Takanakagami then taking his long lap penalty. We've seen a few riders through there over the course of the day so far. Nakagami stays nicely within the white lines. He's rejoined in eighth place, so he did lose that spot to Luca Marini. This is where Best Tech has been so, so good. This is his part of Assen through the high speed turn six and seven, and the attack towards turn eight, stack of art. Binder's trying to immediately respond, but he can't. Best Secchi then, we are halfway around this lap 17, 10 to go here. You know Binder's just gonna go all in, aren't you? Full send here from the uh, South African. Prime Minister Gian Antonio, who's gone down at the Distribuent Airpin by the looks of it. He was running inside the top 10, but he's now out of this Grand Prix. From the drone cam, you're going to see the Grassini Ducati come into picture at a slow speed get off the run. No more slower crashes around the circuit than that. Alasi Spargo is the man to charge here. He's the man to watch because Alasi Spargo, we talked about a podium chance. He might be in the hunt here for second place because this has been a fantastic. 19th lap here for the Aprilia man. Look at this now, he closes down on Batseki and Binder on the brakes to the Timber Chicane. Alex Marquez gets a long lap penalty for repeatedly exceeding track limits. 